Uh, what I can say is that, I mean, there are different challenges on different levels. I think uh, there are still parts of China where basic levels of education are a challenge, like, like I saw in Huaping. Huaping has come a long way. Um, going to, you know, uh, Huaping, which is where 2021, I went there. Um, I went to actually a school that's from a very underprivileged part of the country. Um, you know, even in those villages, the mountainous villages, actually the parents didn't want their girls to go to school. And it took a lot of effort from a local teacher and her team, uh, Chang Kui Mei, recipient of the July 1st medal, where teachers have to convince parents to let their daughters get an education. And the results were mind-blowing in these few years. So that's a good example for countries because women's education is something that is um, in most parts of the world, you know, neglected. Uh, I think the world needs to learn about it to know that development is complex and hard work. Deepening reform means that whatever we have planned to do, we want to make sure that the scope, that the depth of that vision is increased. What that means is that whatever reform we want, if it's better education, if it's better quality of life, we don't just want this vision for the, a few more privileged people. So that's, that's an, one challenge where the rural, urban, uh, you know, a, a sort of compatibility in development is a major focus of the reform. So China can play a very important leadership role, which China has been. We had some education reforms, which I think was very good. And uh, this also emphasizes, the plenary has also emphasized need to be focused on. So I think now with high quality development, I think education, uh, which is gradually, I think those reforms are very, very important. I was very happy personally.